One of the important things to think about uh, relative to management of your woodlands uh, is the what we call crown class or crown position of the trees. And when we speak of crown class or crown position, we're talking about the position of the individual trees relative to the total height uh, of the woods or the canopy. And, and foresters have a way of classifying trees uh, relative to their vertical position of their crowns uh, within a woods. And we'll show you some examples of that. This tree here, and you can see, I'll shake it right here and you can get an idea of how tall it is. Obviously, it's a small tree, uh, but this tree here is what we call a understory tree uh, or sometimes a suppressed tree. And the trees of this size are, are usually 10, 20, 30 foot tall, and they have their crown uh, well below uh, the main canopy uh, of the woods. Now, the, it, the opposite of that, or the extreme of that, is our overstory trees. And sometimes these are referred to as dominant or co-dominant trees. And I've got a picture, I'm at one right here, and this one's a good picture of that because if you look up at this tree, you will see obviously that its crown is now expanded and it's getting full sunlight from the top, and it is the largest or tallest tree in this woods. So on the one hand, you have this woods that's dominated, by these overstory trees of this size and, and small understory trees that we looked at a minute ago. Now there's a, there's a class of trees in between those we call uh, intermediate crown class trees. And a good example is this one back here. And you can see it's a little bigger in size. And if you pan up this tree, you can see that the crown of this tree is, is maybe 30, 40, or 50 foot tall, but its, its crown or its leaves is below the, the dominant or co-dominant trees in the stand. So this is what we call an intermediate crown class tree. So this crown class or the position of the tree in the stand is very important. Foresters will use it to describe uh, the woods quite often. They will say this woods has dominant or co-dominant trees of certain species. Oftentimes the, the understory trees or the intermediate crown class trees and the understory suppressed or overtopped crown class trees, which are the small ones, uh, often they may be a different species than the main canopy trees. So it's good to know all this and understand this and be able to, be able to think of your woods from the standpoint of, of who is expressing dominance uh, in, in, the, in, the, in the woods and crown class or crown position is one way of doing that. Mm -hmm.